What makes ski racing or NASCAR so exciting? It's the same thing that made the Bronco Seahawks Super Bowl game so boring. It's margin. In skiing and NASCAR, there's little to no margin for error. The slightest deviation can at best lose you the race, and at worst, cause a horrific wreck. This makes the outcome highly uncertain. For comparison, in a blowout like the last Super Bowl, the margin was so large by the end of the game that the outcome was very certain. So, how is this useful to us? To answer this, we have to first talk about our operational environment which is both complex and dynamic. Complex in that it's made up of countless conditions. Physical conditions, such as fuels, weather, topography, and the fire itself. These are the obvious ones, of course, but there's more. It's also made up of personal conditions, like our values and beliefs, our biases and experience, and our emotional state. There are group conditions, like crew cohesion, group dynamics, and crew culture. And there are also organizational and societal conditions. Now, if that wasn't enough, all these conditions are also interrelated and they affect one another. Here's an example. Steep slopes, heavy fuel loading, and hot dry weather will favor rapid, high-intensity fire spread. These same conditions slow line production rates and decrease the lifting capacity of air resources. Crews operating in this environment will require more water, which increases the logistical demand on the organization. In addition, hot, dry weather in the presence of fire highlights the value that watersheds have to the community, further increasing the pressure for the fire management organization to protect those values. Now added to this complexity is the fact that our environment is also dynamic. It's constantly changing. We have tools and checklists in place to help us perceive and make sense of this dynamic complexity. In fact, we're inundated with them. LCES, the 10 and 18, downhill checklists, pocket cards, BIs, ERCs, etc. And while these are all useful tools, they can at times feel a bit overwhelming. Margin is unique in that it's not a tool like these others. Rather, it's an overarching framework in which these tools are applied. Margin acknowledges the complexity and helps us envision the environment as a whole. Simply put, margin is the collective state of the environment and our position in it. How much room there is determines the extent of our margin. Now, because the environment is dynamic, it isn't worth talking about margin as a static state. Rather, it's best to talk about it as a trend, where margin is either increasing or decreasing. But what does this look like to us in the field? As margin decreases, so does the room for error and uncertainty. Our options are limited. It can be reduced to the point where an unintended or undesired outcome is inevitable. We might recognize this as a near miss, injury or fatality, or simply not meeting objectives. On the other hand, as margin increases, there is more room for error and uncertainty. More options are available. We all have the power to control margin. Building margin can be a deliberate act. Maintaining vehicles, training, establishing LCES, Hydrating, facilitating an effective AAR. On the other hand, margin can change independently from our actions. The weather can change. Budgets can change. Rocks can roll downhill. Even when margin is passively decreasing, deliberate action can be taken to adapt to these changes and once again increase margin. For instance, we can choose to change the plan. To take the best ridge, not the next ridge. Choose whether or not to engage at all. Likewise, as conditions change and margin is increasing, we can choose to take advantage of the opportunities it presents. Get to work. The benefits of margin will be unique to the context in which it's used, but generally it's helpful in the following ways. 
1. Margin acknowledges the environment is complex and dynamic and gives us simple language and imagery to communicate and share our understanding. It helps us to talk about and make sense of our environment. 2. It gives language to that uneasy feeling when the environment is changing, but you can't quite put your finger on exactly what is changing. 3. It unifies the stuff we're already doing. It ties together hiring, training, crew cohesion, fire management plans, posting a lookout, etc. All of these things affect our margin. 4. We can include margin into our definition of success. Operating with razor-thin margin might be exciting to watch, but is it how we want to operate at work? This introduction is exactly that. An introduction. The start of a conversation about how this concept can be useful in helping us to successfully navigate the complex, dynamic, wildland fire environment. Individual and organizational learning happens in the discussions had after seeing this video. In the crew buggies or engines heading to a fire, while staging or at drop point six, and all that time spent mopping up. We want your feedback. Tell us about the conversations you're having around margin. Send us an email, a video of your discussion, post something on the margin blog, or send a carrier pigeon. Here's how to get a hold of us. We look forward to hearing from you.